So what was he like? What was he like when you're just with him? I mean, he is absolutely right. He's brimming with confidence right now. The Donald Trump and the, his aides here in the White House feel like this is one of the best periods of their presidency the last few weeks, uh, capped off by the Kavanaugh victory, the fact that he has been uh, seated on the court. And they feel like that the fight surrounding the nomination is really fueling Republican voters who were at a sort of a disadvantage when it came to enthusiasm going into the midterms. Democrats seemed much more excited to go out there and vote than Republicans. And they believe that's not the case anymore, that Republicans are excited that they have Kavanaugh on the bench, but more so were angry at how he was mistreated. And in fact, that's a point he made tonight in this interview that was very striking, that he actually drew a link to how Kavanaugh was treated. The idea that he was uh, guilty, okay. was then proven innocent, to what happened with what we say, the journalists who disappeared in Saudi Arabia, and he, uh, in the Saudi Arabian consulate in Istanbul, believing that he, that Saudi Arabia, was also being dealt the same way, presumed guilty and having to prove innocent. Uh, and he is, this is the president right now, is, is doubling down on that idea, and he's feels that he is a hit upon a winning message going into the midterms. Do you realize the absurdity of that? The, 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 I, it's even about, whatever you say about the Kavanaugh, it wasn't in Kavanaugh's house. This is in the Saudi Arabia consulate. His fiance stood at the door while her fiance went in there and never came out. It isn't like there's a big uh, Agatha Christie Hitchcock story here. He walked into a building and never came out of the building. What are we talking about? And the building was Saudi. And some, this isn't a mystery. That's right. In some place, there's audio and there's video. And the, the Turks president. Have it. Yeah. That's right. And the president is doubling down on this and making this absurd. Why is he connection. bending himself into a pretzel to defend the indefensible? Because he's getting ready to lose, and he's going to lose big. Okay, let me get back to uh, Lisa on this. Uh, explain Trump where you right now. He's hot dogging in the end zone. He, he must have said, I got enough male votes and very conservative women uh, who, uh, who are maybe a little accepting more of this kind of awful talk by men. Uh, and I'll live with that. I'll take my share of the pie. Chris, I think you're being overly generous. I think it's his lack of self-control. <laughs> I think he just wants to say right. what he wants to say. I, I think there's to, no but I, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I think that he think just wanted to hit back. He's so angry over Stormy Daniels, her in the book describing his manhood in terms that he feels are not sufficiently flattering. And he actually had a victory. He was he had okay. won the defamation case. And so he instead of just resting on his laurels, he has to bring the controversy back into everyone's okay. view. And he looks disgusting and small minded as his part okay. for the course behavior. Well, let me let me add something to what both of you said, and that's uh, both you and, and Donna. I think if you look at the way he puts away his opponent, his male opponents like Marco Rubio, little Marco, or he puts away uh, low energy uh, uh, Jeb or something, there's always a little fun with it. There's a little sort of fond kick him out of the room kind of thing. But there's vengeance when it comes to women. There's a hatred there. There's something I want to get to the bottom of. Please, psychiatrist, let me know. What is this that makes him so angry at someone like Stormy Daniels? If he had the affair with her or the one night, whatever, why is he so mad at her? And if he didn't, then why did he just dismiss this whole thing in the beginning? There's something about him that really he was enraged at Hillary. He's still angry at Hillary. He's not still angry at Jeb. He's not still angry at Marco. Would somebody explain this to me? Why has he got a problem with women? Well, Chris, Stormy Elise, said in the it. excerpt, she said in her excerpt that she physically spanked Donald Trump. And you look at the media campaign she has waged against him over about, I guess, the past year. And she is just st standing up against him every day in a way that he is vulnerable and he can't stand. Yeah. And he does not like strong women who aren't going to take any of his BS. Well, that's it right there. Well, you there. went beyond me. I didn't know you'd get into the spanking. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. But go ahead, Donna. No, but that's it right there. It's the strong women. Any woman who potentially can best him, Donald Trump doesn't like. He, can, he can't even take it with men, but he can laugh them away. But with women, he has to double down. And then he goes deep and he goes personal yeah. and he goes nasty. And oh. women across America are looking at this and they are not seeing a guy that they want emulated in their homes, in their workplaces. And they're going to show that by voting this November. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.